Okay. Hmm. So, um, I guess I need to know. I guess I need to know maybe what is the what is the purpose, or what would be my purpose? I guess for what would be my purpose? I guess for um. What do I get? I get let, let me, I, I, this, this is going to be all over the place because I have so many different things I want to say or, or not say or, 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 so I'm going to be all over the place and I apologize ahead of time and I, um, I, I apologize ahead of time, I guess. Um, I, I, I apologize on so many different levels for so many different people that I don't know what. Ray, I'm not really worried about what you feel or don't want me to say because I, I really don't care. Because obviously people don't care. And it's like, well, why should I care if nobody else cares? And so I just want to I, I just want to understand what do I gain? I guess let me let me ask what what is it that I gain? I don't I don't know what I what I, what I'm gaining because I'm supposedly going against this lady. Like, I know that you guys feel that this lady is so amazing and so perfect and so all of these things. And you have the right to feel like she is all of these things. I, you have you have the right to feel all of these things. I don't have a problem with you feeling and liking this person and loving her and and, and, and doing all this. But what I don't understand what I don't understand is when someone honestly tells you something and I have, I don't have a track record of lying on anyone. I don't have a track record at all of lying on anyone. This is not, this is not what I do. So I don't really understand what the purpose for me to attack a person. I, I don't, I, I'm so like, I mean, I'm being so honest with you how truly angry I am. Um, I, I'm truly angry. I don't need anyone to take my side. I just need this truth to be the truth. And let's not act like it's not, it's not the truth. Like, I am so, so angry. So, so angry. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to hold, hold my my emotion and the anger, Ray Murray, John, I didn't, you know what? Me bringing it to social media, as everyone says, me bringing it to social media, when you spend years with somebody and they don't listen to you, and they don't listen to you, and you try and try and try and try and try, listen, let's be clear. I got out of my house. I've lived in Indiana the entire time I've managed that lady. I've lived in Indiana the entire time. That's not a new thing. That's not something new. And when I, when we started, I got out of my house in Indiana and I got up from my house in Indiana and got in the car and drove to her house and spent two years of my life, damn near a full two years of my life at her house to build what we started. Don't tell me nothing about why did you bring it to social media? The lady does not know how to have a real conversation. She will not have a real conversation. This, what I'm doing right here, I cannot do with that person face-to-face because -face, I've tried that angle face-to-face -face so many times. I've tried that angle so many times. I have tried to talk to that person so many times. And this person now, because she does not want the information out about what she has done or not done out, she, she, she just can't.
My thing is, as a man, I've quit. I've quit. I don't work. I'm not in management anymore. I've quit. I don't want, because I don't want any part of this again to happen to me. I don't want any part of this around me. I don't want any of this negativeness around me. I don't have a problem saying that sometimes I have where I need to go speak to someone else that's a, as a medical professional as in therapy and get out how I feel because... I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a cancer. I'm emotional and I, I wear my emotions on my sleeve and all that. I don't, I have never, I have never done anything to that lady ever in her life. I have never stolen a thing from her. I have never taken anything from her. I have never done anything from her. And for you people that are in there with all of that shit about Geo's this and Geo's that, no. No, let me, let me, let, first of all, before, oh my God, I'm trying so hard. Before, because I have never in my life, I have never in my life done anything and been more proud of the work that I've put into somebody like I've put into, put, put into that lady. I never have been more proud of the work I've done. I have never been more proud of the work that I've done with this lady and the fact that you guys have seen, you. this person has been attacked and I have defended her. My, people, go to, people have gone to my mom's house and approached my mom because I have defended this person. That is my mother. We all have parents and that is my mother. And people have gone all the way to New York to attack my mother off of me defending an individual. And I'm wrong? I don't understand. I have people sharing my information. I have people attacking me on an all-the-time level because she is my client. Oh, excuse me. Was my client. Was my client. And I'm doing something to her? I'm doing something. Hard. I don't. I don't understand how I'm doing something. I don't. I, I'm very confused on how I'm doing something. So let me read you. Let me read you what the what the what what the narrative spinning lady is trying to do. That the narrative spinning lady, and which I find. Let me explain something to you about something that I find so absolutely. You so absolutely ridiculous. That lady has had so many narratives spun on her. So many different narratives spun on her that I've defended her about. I've been like, murder girl, don't feel some type of way. Murder them people is just feel some type of way. And they want to just, they want to, they just want to do you some type of way. They want to make you feel some type of way. They want to attack you, attack you, attack you. I have been all there every day for all of the shit and my, uh, the phone calls, the time, the time away from anything that is my life. The time that is anything away from my life. Okay? I have been there for all of that stuff. And this person has the audacity to feel like, has the audacity to use words like jealous? Jealous of what? Jealous of what? I have my own house. I live in my own place. I am my own individual. What am I jealous of? Explain to me what I am jealous of. I have never done a thing to this, this person at all. So her, her objective is to put up a comment, put up a video and say, if you watch the video closely, I'm sure questions will become even bigger. Thank you, Miss Sophia, for coming turning it out Monday, and also Oliver Twix, in caps, in caps, because, you know, she got to feel special. In caps, thank you for loving your surprise party. I truly, I truly love you, and thank you for the work that you do behind my brand. Excuse me, you that you do for my brand. Excuse me. Okay? That is what she said, and in the comments on it, she said, watch the video very closely. Who's fake? Okay, so she's also then in the comment saying, Gio is, well, this person is saying, Green Yakima, 
I'm going to read it like they wrote it. Gia was what is was very upset by what went on and was about to cry. No matter how big you become, remember the folks that helped you to get there. And Marcy Mogul put, she posted this video for people like you. And Madison wrote 44 minutes ago, or at that point, excuse me, is he about to cry in the video? Okay. Okay. Mm. Madison wrote, and some Marcy Mogul said, I didn't catch the shade. No shade. I didn't catch no shade. LOL. She wrote, because if you watch close, you will see a bitch eating. You will see a bitch eating, drinking, and being married all in the same day. JB wrote, it would be the closest ones to you that put a dagger in your back than a stranger. Awful. Madison wrote, boom, with an emoji. Because with an emoji. Madison loves to talk in an emoji. She's an emoji type girl. And I find that people that talk in emojis are short, short minded. I don't talk in emojis. I say what the fuck I got to say because that's what the fuck I feel. And that's what it is. Okay. I say what I want to say because that's what it is. Okay, so Taima Brockington said to JB, JB, it's funny how they jump on social media bashing and dragging about their grievances instead of going to the actual person. Every time real friends don't do that, the same shit happened last time. That's why Maddie be so confused. <laughs> Maddie be so confused. <laughs> Maddie be so confused when shit pop off because everything be good one moment, then the next day you wake up and done got dragged across the internet like, what? We was good. What happened? Okay. Jill, okay, no, I, I read that one. Let me see. Jasmine Jennings. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get to Ray Murray John. They're the only ones who know the truth, and it should stay that way. He could have departed in peace. This is another Kaya situation. Okay? So I'm Kaya. So I didn't let Kaya hold it on 223. <laughs> I didn't let Kaya hold it with receipts. I didn't let Kaya hold it when she was lying on Madison. I didn't let her hold that. I didn't let her hold that. Oh, that wasn't me. Oh. Jasmine Jennings. This video is to show that Jill is very fake. Because Madison is showing you that Jill was in good space with everybody. And from what I see, this video is, is, is no one was uncomfortable. So what would Jill get in? Why? So why would Gio get in live and do the most? He looks in good spirit here to me. Madison's comment to that was correct. Okay. All right. So Renee Meyer said, let's get Gio some balloons and a cake. Shit. So basically, Gio is jealous because Oliver got this for his birthday. Madison is liking these comments. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the day. Sunday. Let me let me um, um, let me let me get to Sunday. What was Sunday? Hmm. Sunday was the ninth. Sunday was the ninth. So Sunday. So Sunday on the ninth of February, we had the taping of the Queen Supreme Court, which I was there for because I was there because on. Let me see what day I got there. On Thursday the 6th, I arrived at Madison's house because we were supposed to be there because the executive producer was in town shadowing us and seeing how we, how we, <clears throat> how we transpire and how we are with each other of whatever. So, okay, great. So, on the 9th, I got, I was there. And on the 9th, when I woke up, Madison had an attitude. I didn't know what I did because all I did was go to bed on the 8th and woke up on the 9th and it was an attitude. Okay. Okay, so we, we're, 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 we're moving forward and whatever. So we have, I'm now in the mix of the, of the taping and everybody coming over. I'm the one that picked up Oliver's cake. I'm the one that texted Chi Chi and said, hey, do we need to go and get his stuff today? Or what do I need to do? I got Oliver's cake on, <clears throat> I believe I got Oliver's cake on the 8th. I believe I, I picked it up, okay? So I'm the one that got Oliver's cake. I'm the one that um, asked Chi Chi if we needed to go get the stuff or what was going to happen, like the balloons and all that stuff. Um, we had other people getting the basket. It was a regular day. Madison was giving me an attitude. I don't know what the problem is. Madison was giving me an attitude all fucking day. 
It is what it is. She feels like she wants to feel. Okay, cool. So, <clears throat> yeah. I, so, everybody is there. So, Legra, Legra our, our, um, our vacation planner, planner was there. Legra was there. She had three other associates with her. And Legra was there. We had um, Craig there. We had... Um, uh, who else was there? Let me go through it. Chi Chi, obviously. Uh, Madison, David, which was the executive producer. Um, and then um, we obviously had the hair and makeup. And they were there. And so the hair and makeup was there. All of that was going on. Okay. And then um, Oliver showed up. When Oliver showed up, Oliver came by him. Well, no, excuse me. Oliver came. He came with his boyfriend and three other people, I believe. And then um, his mom, his grandmother, and his grandfather came. When his mom and grandfather and everybody came, he, when his mom and everybody came, Madison then proceeded to go upstairs and bring down his balloons and his basket. She then, uh, you know, did her speech thing, whatever. And while she was doing her speech thing, I said, you know, <clears throat> we. She was talking and she was saying, we, we, you know, this is David. He's our executive producer. And you know, yes, my show has been picked up and it's been bought and we're about to be on. And he's shadowing and you know, explaining the whole thing. And <clears throat> then um, we. You know, she was talking, and I said, yes, girl, because as she was talking, I said, yes, girl, because me and you started this, and here we are now. I don't see what's wrong with that, but apparently, apparently that's, that, that, that's a problem for me saying that. Okay. Cool. Well, Rock, I don't know why you saying Jesus. She dropped you, too. I don't know why you saying Jesus, Rock, because she dropped you, too. I see you in the comment. So, I mean... So, so, so that happened. So we, we filmed the show. It's over. She's, she's not talking. She's not talking to me. She's being funny with me all day. <clears throat> so she's being funny with me all day. It is what it is. We go on the shit. The taping is done. Taping is done. Everything's fine. It was a great day. We enjoyed each other. Chef Holly was there. Excuse me. Chef Holly was there too. We enjoyed each other. And, and, and. We, we, I mean, we, it was a great day. I mean, there's no shade to that. It was a great day. You know, I even pulled Craig aside, partial partial of the day. I pulled Craig aside. I pulled Craig aside, and I said, oh, okay, Craig, well, being how you said on Beyond the Bench episode two that she should fire me, she should fire me, what's that about? What's the, what's the problem that we got? What's the problem we got? Because... Because I don't know what's the pro why we got a problem. I don't even know why we got a problem. So come to find out, come to find out, Madison, like I said in my previous video, is the nucleus of the problem. And she was talking to Craig about me. And then she was talking to me about Craig. And she, she was having us have a problem when there really was no actual problem between us. We just needed to communicate. So where there's a lack of communication... There's also a nucleus of a problem that is driving the force of there, of there being a problem. Okay. Cool. So me and him have this conversation. We're good on Sunday. Because now we're, now we're okay. We've had a conversation. We're like two grown adults. And we've had this conversation and it's done. So there's no more problem with me and Craig, the writer Stewart. Me and Craig are good. So we go on. The day finishes. We do the taping and it's done. So then everybody leaves, and the only people left in the house, okay? So you understand, before the problem with me and her happens, the only people left in the house was Scott, kept secret. Porn, porn, Scott, kept secret. Myself, T.S. Madison, and David, which was the, the executive producer, and upstairs was Chi Chi because he was already in bed. Okay? So he because he was already in bed. Okay? So <clears throat> um so when so when that's going on, 
me and me, Madison, and Scott. Scott has his computer because he's making a t-shirt for himself. And Madison is on her computer doing whatever she whatever she's doing. Okay. So she uh, and so me and Scott and her are talking about how Scott, when she had was at Mix Atlanta, Scott's boyfriend had a drink, was taking drinks from her VIP section that Scott was giving her, but he didn't acknowledge her. And she felt some type of way because how is your man going to take drinks from my VIP section but look me in my face and not take, and, excuse me, and not acknowledge me and say hello? This is what you deal with. This is what you deal with when you deal with the person, when you deal with the lady. Okay? This is what you deal with. Okay. So, so, he... He, and, and in this moment, she looks from her computer while she's typing and looks up and goes, well, why are you and Dee Dee texting? And then I was like, oh, this is the problem you have? Because your friend of over 16 years and you, and she's, your friend of over 16 years and I happen to text? So Dee Dee is Madison's friend for over 16 years, okay? From Miami, has nothing to do with anything, but he's her friend. He was living in her house, okay? He was living in her house, okay? Dee Dee decided to up and leave her house and left the keys in her bathroom, of, of, of the, the bathroom in his house. In, in Madison, the room that he was staying in had a bathroom. He left the keys on the counters of the bathroom sink. Okay? He left the keys there and he left and didn't say a word. Hmm. So, so, what does Spike Lee say? Okay, sorry. So, I'm trying to figure out, so her next comment was, well, I feel like you text Dee Dee and said something that made Dee Dee leave the house. And I'm like, what does you and Dee Dee's relationship have to do with me? And are you not going to be accountable are you not going to be accountable for whatever action you and Didi got? For whatever transpired. So, ma'am, let me talk, let me talk to you, Madison, and say that you personally told me you wanted Didi out the house. You can deny it all you want because that's just that's just what you want to do. You can deny it all you want. But you sat there and talked about Didi like a dog to myself. To Oliver, to Craig, to Chi Chi, y'all know this. You, you you talked to you talked about him like a dog. You said several times you wanted him out the house. So that man actually also heard that your mother said that you wanted him out the house. And while we're clearing up the situation, Oliver Twist is the one that told Dee Dee that you especially wanted him out the house. Let's clear it all the way up and be and lay it all the way out. Why are you so busy? You why are you so busy to be at somebody? You blame me for whatever you did with that man and his you you blame me and you're always attacking me for no reason. You're blaming me for all things. But it wasn't even me. And what I did, what all I said was, well, what does Didi and me talking and if he texts me have to do with me? What does him leaving have to do with me? Why can't a grown man and another grown man have a conversation that has nothing to do with you? What they got to do with me? Your, 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 your best thing coming, Oliver, is the one that told him. You don't even know, ma'am. You, ma'am, don't even know that Oliver and Didi was hanging out and didn't tell you because they didn't want you to have a problem with them two hanging out because you would have a problem with that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Where, where, where was the lie? Where, where was the lie? This is your problem. Where, this is your problem. You got a problem with people not... <clears throat> would not want to spend their 24-7, their every minute, their every hour, their every breath with you. You got a problem with me for whatever reason that you feel you got a problem with me, you got that problem. 
You got that problem with, with me for whatever reason. You got that problem with for whatever reason. You need to be surrounded by all people that will tell you every day that you are so amazing. That's what you need in life. And I'm here for you. I, I'm here for you. Or, or excuse me, I was here for you. But ma'am, you you don't want to be you don't want to take your accountability in the shit you do. You don't want to take your accountability in the shit you do. Ma'am, you said to everyone, Didi heard it from, let me explain this to you. Didi heard it from guests that you had in your house, but people that were coming over your house to watch the Queen Supreme Court. Didi heard it from people that you had in your house that you wanted him gone out of your house. And you, <laughs> you feel like it's me. You have the audacity to get in comments and say stuff and spin this narrative on me like I'm lying on you. I didn't even say nothing about you in that other video like that. Ma'am, you are a narcissist. Ma'am, you are. You want to, you want the whole world. We can have, we have been sitting in conversations, having conversations, and man, the conversation has to come back to you because that's it just has to be about you. If there's two seconds of time that's not on you, if there's two seconds of time that's not on you, you're not okay. It's two seconds of time that's not, you're not, you're like, oh no. You ain't talking about me long enough. You need to talk about me. We have, myself, Oliver Craig, we've all talked and sat together and, and felt exactly what I'm saying about you. I'm not, but I'm the only one that's actually able to say it to your face. And that's what you never liked about me. Because like I say, but I'm supposed to be the one that's supposed to be able to talk to you and say all the things that you want to say and all the things that's supposed to be said. And be in your corner and be there. There is no, there is no, because I see all the people, Jill, this is not the way, and I'm done. I'm done. I don't manage her. I don't manage anybody. I don't plan to manage anybody. I'm done. It's stunned. It's done. I got online and I said what I said because that was to say, officially, I'm done. I'm done. But it just, so you want to get online and you want to and you want to share your video and you want to get in the comments because you cannot not say anything because that's just what you need to validate yourself to feel better. I have the text message from the executive producer. Excuse me. I have the text message from the executive producer. Let me let me let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me let me read this to you. I don't know what to say, Gio. I told her not to do any of that. Hmm. I wonder who the her is. She's been bombarded with comments about your post and being called out all over the place. So not having an opinion and not responding in some way is like Chinese water torture for her, I'm sure. So that is to show. I would, I, that's, that's, I, that is to show that is to show that, ma'am, you will say and lie to anyone just to get ahead because that's how you, you don't mind. You don't mind saying what you got to say. And, Rock, I saw where you said, how was I dropped or, wait, and I see you said you wanted to call me. Okay, Rock. So, you, sir, know the, comp you know what happened between you and her and how you are no, you had, you stopped being on the trips and stuff. Who, who, I, I mean, are we going to be honest? Are we going to be honest and say that you texted her and said that you felt like you felt like you were left out? You felt like she moved on and didn't say nothing to you? you you're not going to be honest and say that? Rocky was doing a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And me nor her, be honest with you, like the way you were moving, but I tried to talk to you about it. So all I'm saying is you, you, you obviously were dropped because you're not in the mix. So for you guys to say, for you guys, for anyone to say to me, <clears throat> when anyone, for anyone to say to me that you don't, you don't go to social media. No, you don't go to social media and handle it. And just, I quit twice. Madison called me back two times. I quit twice. I don't, other two times when I quit, I, she didn't say, I didn't go online. I didn't say nothing. 
I quit twice. This is the third time and I'm done. This is me being done. But she not gonna go, she not gonna go over there. She not gonna go over there and get in them comments and do all that. She's not gonna get in them comments and act like I did something to her or I left her somewhere or I felt, felt some type of way. Listen, how are you gonna be with somebody? Let me let me let you know. How are you gonna be? Let me ask any one of you. You're gonna work for somebody for seven years. And in seven years, you don't even get a you don't even get a, a birthday card. You don't get nothing. You don't get nothing. One year, one year she posted and she sang to me happy birthday. I think that was after year one. One year. And maybe she's and maybe she's she's done a <clears throat> make a jingle in his cash app, maybe thing. Maybe, maybe she's done that. Maybe, maybe she's done that. But other than that, what, what happened? What, what, what are we talking about? I live in Indiana. I drive nine years. I, excuse me. I drive nine hours. I drive nine hours to, to Atlanta. Then wherever we got to go, I'm driving the car. It's, I, I'm trying to understand why I wasn't here for the get down. Let me know when anybody is, is, is taking their time or energy. And doing that for her. Let me know. Let me know when anybody's doing any of that for her. I'll wait. I'll wait. Because I, jo I just, you just seen the Chronicles in Vegas. Who drove to Vegas? Let me know. Let me know. So well, let, me, let me understand why I haven't done something for her. Let me, oh, let me ask you guys another question. Let me ask you guys another question. Where's the where? So everybody's met my mom, but where's the picture of anybody with my mother? No, this is not about the birthday party, actually, no. Where's anybody taking a picture with my mother? You think I don't notice stuff like that? You think I don't notice nothing like that? They don't like, they have some problem. They got some problem for, with me for a person... Yes, I don't get into all things ratchet and all that. No, I don't. But I was there to do my job, and my job speaks for itself. My job, my business is impeccable. Because I handle my business. I handle my business. I've always handled my business. So I'm trying to understand from anyone where I haven't, you guys think that I haven't talked to her. Let me ask you a question. On episode two, Beyond the Pendulum, when 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 Craig said, when Craig said, you should fire Gio, and I called her separate offline, like you say, and handled it offline, and I said Myrtle, and then he went live and talked about me on his live after that. And I said to her, Myrtle, that's not cool. I ain't never done. I ain't never said nothing about nobody online about the shit that happened in the house. Separately away from anybody. I've never done that. And you okay? And her response was, I didn't know. I didn't watch it. That doesn't happen. That that doesn't make it better. Or, or or let me know, or let me know when years ago when I was doing, when I for, first met Dorian Isaac, when I first met Dorian Isaac in, in Norfolk or Richmond, Virginia, because I, we had a gig with Jermaine Mankey. <clears throat> And we were in Virginia, and my car got stolen. You know where my car got stolen from? Madison's house. Did you guys, did anybody know that? Did I spill it then? Did I spill it then? Let me know. Let me know if I spilled it then. Let me know if I spilled it then. So when my car got stolen, oh, did I forget to tell you when my who who stole my car? And Madison kept it. Madison wouldn't let nobody know. Madison wouldn't let nobody know. She was acting funny with me that whole day until she finally found out where my car was. Because, oh, Chi-Chi stole my car and was riding around for, with some boy that just got out of jail. And he got arrested smoking weed in my car. And instead of my, the trade he was with in the car had to, drove my car 
to his house with his parents. And Miss Eve, and Miss Eve, rest her soul, and Dee Dee had to go get my car from this boy's house. But, but, but I'm so messy. I'm so messy. So I'm trying to understand from anybody or even this person, even this person, how I wasn't here like four flat tires, how I did, I, I, I did this person some type of way, how I did this, what I had to do with any of the bullshit that she was doing. So there's no accountability that Madison has sat with each one of us and talked about each other. There's no accountability for that. That each one of us have had this conversation with each other about Madison and agreed that she does this, but everybody just lets her do it. And I'm the only fall guy because I'm the one that doesn't mind saying what's the truth. Christopher Leart, um, he didn't, he, I didn't give him the keys. Christopher Liar, just so you know, I didn't give him the keys. It was in my room. It was in my room in Madison's house. So I'm I'm trying to I, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand. The car, like it, it, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you're what, what you're saying, Christopher Liar, because I have no problem. I, don't, I I'm I'm trying to understand. I, I'm trying to understand. This, this, this lady has the audacity to sit in comment sections and, and try to say who's fake. Like, I'm trying to understand where I was ever fake to Madison. I, I'm trying to understand. No, Sean Culver, I wasn't talking to Dee Dee after he left, his, after he left her house. She was mad because she feels like I did something or said something to him that made him left his house. Excuse me, that made him left leave her house. Dee Dee was already, Oliver had a conversation with Dee Dee about what Madison said, and that's why Dee Dee was leaving the house. Dee Dee also had a conversation with Madison and said to Madison, is there a problem with me staying in your house? Because I'm hearing from multiple people that you got a problem with me staying in your house. Dee Dee also, Dee Dee also saw a ring video of Madison and one of her other friends talking shit about Dee Dee. And him getting out the house. I'm trying to understand what Gio got to do with any of that. Why am I the person? Why am I the person? Why are you at me? You over there ride or die with these motherfuckers that sit in your ass, but them, them motherfuckers is the one doing you. Doing you. I ain't doing nothing to you. Oliver and, Oliver and him and Dee Dee got a whole relationship that ain't got nothing to do with me. And you trying to put it on me? You put it on me. You making all these assumptions and making me the bad guy. I have so so the other day. So the other day, when I was in the house and you and Chichi left, you ain't locked me in the house before Didi left. Before Didi moved out, you ain't locked me in the house because you changed all the locks. I'm excuse me, not the locks. You changed all the codes in the alarm system. You didn't lock me out. And I couldn't, I couldn't even get out, so I had to message, I had to message Dee Dee and say, hey, are you still in the house? Because if you're not, uh, okay, 
I, I, I'm stuck in here and I'm hungry and I would like to get something to eat. Hmm? Where I'm lying on you, I, I got the text messages. So at any point you want to dispute anything I'm saying, I'm ready. I, I'm ready. I, I'm, I'm very open to having this conversation. But what you're not gonna do is keep you. What you're not gonna do is keep saying that I did. I'm jealous. I'm fake. I'm phony. Like I did anything to you. I never did a. I never did a single thing to you in your the entire time I worked with you. I never did a single thing. I took and took. If you guys watch, if anybody watches those videos before, if anybody watched those videos before, in the beginning. I was calm. I was j joking. I was laughing. Da, da, da. The videos now, you can see my energy. I don't even talk. I don't even talk. Because I feel like I can't talk. I can't say nothing. There's nothing I could do that's okay. The only person, the only person that I can honestly say out of this situation that was a real adult about this situation was Craig the writer Stewart. After all the shit that I thought he said about me and felt about me, me and that man talked on Sunday, and I have no ill will towards Craig the writer Stewart. But this, you're not gonna, you're not, we're, we're, okay, so, so you're gonna have these people thinking out here that you was, you was, you was taking care of me lovely? Because if you didn't work, I didn't get paid. Hmm. 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 Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's really interesting. It's really interesting. I heard, you know, you like to spin a narrative that I just jumped out and just felt like going off on you and <clears throat> and I was just, you didn't even mention to anybody or tell nobody anything about Dee Dee leaving your house. Why did you, why did you, why did you take out that, why did you take out that? Oh, because you didn't want anybody to know that a friend of over 16 years also felt like you were a phony and a fake and talking shit about him to every living human being possible. You didn't want you didn't want him to know that. You don't want nobody to know who you really are, how you talk shit and bash about just about every living, breathing human being. Oh, I do my fair share, so I'm not gonna let me take my accountability. I talk a lot of shit. I talk a lot of shit. Oh, actually, Lorenzo Cavalli Madison did say shit about it. I read the comments earlier, and she's up under her live that she shared, and um, she did say a lot. She actually said a lot. And I read the comments and what she said earlier. Joseph, I, there's nothing. I love all y'all that I love all y'all that love me and I, I love you to death. But this, this is not, this I'm not okay with. This is when I, this is what, this is why I'm not, I don't longer manage anybody. I don't have nothing to do with it. And I don't have, this is not me. I don't give a fuck if nobody agrees with me. But that's exactly what happened. I don't give a fuck if none of y'all like what I say. But this is exactly what happened. There's not a single thing that I said that was a lie. There's not a single thing that I said that was a lie. I'll show you the, I, I got the text messages. Oh yeah, the snoring is my dog. And the, yeah, I got dogs. The, the, the text, the te I got the text messages from Oliver being her minion, texting, trying to. And, and let me let me read you exactly what it said. I got the text messages saying, "What did Jill? What did Jill say to you? What did Jill say to you? Hold on, let me hold on. It to quote." What did Jill bring back to you that has that has you so upset with Maddie? You 
You got your, you got your, you put your people in place. You put your people in place. You let them do all the work so you can sit back and say, oh, I didn't do it. I didn't watch you do it. Now, yes, have people lied on you and said you did more than you did? No. No. I'm, excuse me. Have people, excuse me, I, let me fix that. Have people lied on you and said that you did something more than you actually did? Yes. Because there's things that they have said that, that you've done that you that you have not done. But has there been things that you have done and act like you ain't do? Yes. I'm trying to understand. I, I'm, I'm just waiting for all day because I've talked about people all day and I don't, I mean, I everybody knows I don't mind. Anybody that knows me or has a conversation with me, me knows that I don't mind. It's you that sits over there like, I don't, I don't, what, I don't, I don't do that. I don't. So you're not going to accept any fault for saying what you said about Didi here, there, and everywhere. You're never going to accept that. You're never going to take your accountability for what you said about that man that made him feel some type of way. But instead, you want to blame me because you feel. You feel. It's me because you just, instead of you saying, I asked you to your face. Madison, I asked you on Sunday, February 9th, to your face. Do you want to fire me? And you could never respond with the executive producer there. You never responded and you never said no. Because my work speaks for itself. Ma'am, you're so full of shit. You are so full of shit. And all you had to do, all you had to do was admit your shit and say, you know what? My bad. I did. And we, I done went to bed and slept. And, and slept. I didn't even drag you on that motherfucking first video. I didn't do that. I didn't drag it. I just said that you are narcissistic. You feel like everything has to come back to you. You feel like everything has to come back to you. Every conversation we could be talking about, we could be talking about the weather and uh, magically it'll be like, yeah, cause you know, I'm Madison and the weather, the weather was, was shining on me cause I'm Madison. You'd be like, girl, okay, just talk about whatever you want to talk about. The, everything is about you. Everything in life got to be about you. I've told you to your face. I told you to your face. Everything in life cannot be about you. Every conversation, everything does not have to wrap and revolve around you. I've told you that to your face. But you're not going to sit in these comments and tell these people and amp these people up because it makes you feel better and able to sleep at night. Cavorting with people to try to make this campaign of smear. You're not going to do that. It has nothing to do with I have it has nothing to do with management or who I'm gonna work with or who this has nothing because I don't work I don't work with nobody. I quit all that. But I'm, I'm you're not gonna do. No, she doesn't owe me any money. The lady don't owe me any money. I'm not, we're not even gonna get into that. The lady don't owe me no money. <clears throat> I, I'm not here to lie to, lie on you. I'm not here to tell nothing that isn't true. I've read all this stuff. I have no problem getting into any. I have no problem coming up with really what is going on. Yes, I did. I did quit and I left. But Charles Oglesby, she went on tonight and started to attack my actual character as a human being. I'm not, I'm not with that. I read those, I read those receipts and what she was saying on her own live in the comments earlier in this live. So, no, I'm not going to go into that. She feels some type of way because her information, her information is out there. Armani Dupree, it's wrong for her to reply to what? Reply to what? Reply to what? She can reply with a, she can reply and say this happened or that happened. But she can't reply and make up stories. That's not what happened at all. So it's, it is what it is. It is what it is. But you're not gonna you're not gonna slay my character all day. You're not gonna do that. You're not gonna at all do that without any information and being honest about your fault and situations and what has transpired. I don't fuck with you. I don't even I don't fuck with you at all no more. I don't know nothing about you. 
You and you are you do not exist to me. When you started calling me all that night, I blocked you because I had nothing else to say. You acted like this phone. You are a f fucking complete phony. And I see you for all your works. And you've always been worried about anybody else getting close to anybody else that knows you from old times because you're worried about somebody saying something to you. I see you. I see you for all you are. I wish you well.